Hi, I'm AJ Holland from Clever Clip Systems and I'm here to show you our Merbau clip. To show you some quick tips on installation of boards and clip that will give you a fantastic nail free deck. The Merbau clip relies on the teeth locking into the board by means of a fixing tool. The direction of the uprights of the clip signals the direction in which the boards are laid. Starting from the outside front edge of your deck, place a clever clip on each side of your outer side joists. In order to keep a safe working environment, we strongly recommend that the first row of clips are laid with the uprights pointing towards the front of the deck. This is quite important as we'll show you later. Firstly, you need to consider the set out of the deck, which fascia you're going to use and whether or not you're going to have an overhang on the first board or whether it'll finish flush at the front of the deck. Bearing in mind that the open end of the clip holds half a board, the position of this front board will govern where the first clever clips will be positioned from the end of your joist. For an overhang, we suggest that the first clip is positioned approximately 15mm back from the front of your joist. For a flush finish, you can simply cut the clip at the last upright and have the base of the upright finishing flush with the end of the joist and make sure the clever clips are sitting squarely on the outside joists. The recesses on the sides of the clips are set with a width of 45mm to assist with the positioning of the clip squarely on standard 45mm joists. We strongly recommend that the first row of clips points face towards the front edge of the deck. This is so that you can work safely off your decking plank whilst getting the first few boards fixed. When you're working at heights, check local building regulations concerning scaffolding. Full board widths are recommended at the front of your deck. We then suggest you place your other clever clips on the end joist towards the house to check on the squareness of your deck and also to ensure that the last deck board against the house is not too narrow. If your deck is close to the ground and height safety is not an issue, you may choose to start from the house and work to the outside of the deck. You'll have to trim your clip to get your first board started. This board will have to be screw fixed, either from the top or from underneath. There'll be times when you have to cut your clips to suit the width of your deck. It's best to use snips. Note the new knuckle nail built into the clip. This makes for fast, easy, but temporary fixing of the clip to the joist. There are seven fixing points and all should be used. Your choice of fixings are 8 gauge by 25mm galvanised button head screws, 32 by 3.15mm galvanised connector nails and for quick fixing a 50mm dome head ring shank decking screw fired from a coil nail gun. When using stainless steel clips it's essential that you use stainless steel fixings. For fixing onto steel joists we believe a good practice is to apply a thin coating of adhesive to the top of your joist prior to laying the clips. This will give your joist better protection against corrosion. Use 10 gauge by 18mm galvanised self drilling wafer head screws or their stainless steel equivalents if using stainless steel clips. The knuckle nails won't penetrate steel so simply flatten them with a hammer prior to installation. Now that the outer clever clips have been securely fastened to the joists, run a string chalk line between the clever clips across the inner joists. Flick the string line to mark a chalk line on all the internal joists and by using this method you'll negate the effect of any incorrect internal joist length. Using this mark you can then correctly position the remainder of the front clever clips on the internal joists. As earlier advised, we strongly recommend that the first row of clips points towards the front edge of the deck. This is so you can work safely on your decking plank whilst getting the first few boards fixed onto your deck. To set your clip up ready for the first board, simply push a temporary decking board hard up against the trailing tooth of the first clip. Don't use adhesive on this board as it needs to be removed later. Secure it by screwing at a slight angle into each joist immediately behind the board, wedging it tightly against the trailing tooth. Screw well down to avoid a trip hazard, then place the deck plank firmly against this board as this makes for a stable base. Using the fixing tool and a mallet, locate onto the teeth and tap the first row of uprights into the vertical position. This fixing tool is very effective and does not need to be hit with great force. Little tip with your fixing tool is to fix it to a piece of broom handle to save your back. There is a fixing tool in every pack of Merbau clips. Before laying the next board, construction adhesive needs to be applied to the base of the clip. 
Suitable adhesives for use with Cleverclip are any exterior approved construction adhesive that's recommended for use with timber and metal. Our preferred adhesive is Fuller's Toolbox. Apply a bead of adhesive approximately 10mm high across the middle of each clip. Place the board on the clip, sitting the leading edge of the board on the ridges of the clip and resting the edge of the board on the teeth. The board will be sitting at an angle with the trailing edge of the board sitting up on the following teeth. To engage the board it's important to keep weight on the leading edge and the initial engagement of the board into the teeth with the mallet should be quite light. Now go back to one end of the board and hit the trailing edge with medium force. As the leading edge of the board engages with the teeth, the trailing edge will move clear of the trailing teeth on the other side of the board, allowing it to sit flat on the base of the clip. Now for the trailing edge. Foot pressure should be spread evenly across the board, pushing it down fully into the clip. And now you use the fixing tool to lock the board into the clip. Before using the fixing tool to lock the board into the clip, ensure that the teeth are locating at the correct height into the board across the following five to six joists from the teeth you are about to lock. The uprights of the clip should finish in a vertical position and there should be approximately the same gap between consecutive boards. Heavy handed hitting of the fixing tool may push the upright over too far so it's actually detrimental to the job. You need to pack the leading edge of the front board to a height of 3mm to keep a height constant with the rest of the clip. Always use a very straight board for this front board. Before fixing, make sure the board's engaged with the teeth of the clever clip. The easiest way to fix the board is of course to simply screw through the face of it with a decking screw. Effective, but perhaps not what you want to see. What we are using today are the starter clips, which come with every pack of clever clips. Simply attach the clip to the top of the joist and then fix the board from underneath. Another alternative is to run a 30 by 30 mil aluminium angle along the length of your joist ends. Fix the aluminium angle 3 mil above the top of the joist, flush with the top of the rib of the clip. You will need to fix the fascia board to ensure the overhanging board has support from underneath. Now that we've removed our temporary backing board and before we start laying our next row of clips back to the house, it's important to check the teeth on the last clip to make sure that they're horizontal. If they're not, get your claw hammer, get it under like this and just lift them up so that they become horizontal. At the top of each clever clip upright you'll see there's a notch. It's designed to aid in lining up butt joints. Make sure that the end of the board finishes with the middle of this notch. You'll also need to apply two beads of adhesive, one to each side of the clip for each board. Don't lock the outer teeth into the board at butt joins until both boards have been inserted into the clip at the join. Badly bow boards are not suitable for use with the clever clip Merbo clip. However, the clip will accommodate boards with a bow equal to approximately 10 mil for every two and a half meters. Position the bowed board so that when one end is in the clip, the furthest end is curved away from you. Work the board into the clip along its length as you would a straight board, progressively straightening the board as you work it into the clip. Again, always work a number of joists in front of the joist you're about to lock to ensure the teeth are locating into the board with the edge of the board resting on the ridge of the clip. Occasionally, you'll find a bowed board that hasn't straightened out in the clip. In this case, it's good practice to use a small wedge to straighten boards in the clip before the adhesive is set. Leave it in place for 24 hours. Here's a good tip. After you've got a few boards in, make sure you go through and give them a light tap to make sure the board is flat in the bottom of the clip. Whilst you can cut the fixing tool for fixing in tight spaces near the house, you'll generally find that the last board on the deck will need to be fastened off with a screw from either above or below the deck. If you needed to remove a damaged board at a later date, simply set your power saw at the depth of the board, put two cuts up the middle of the board 40 odd mil apart, pull out that piece of board, then butterfly the other two remaining pieces out of the clip. Now that we've removed the damaged board, it's time to set ourselves up to ensure the clips 
are ready to accept the new board. For the replacement of this board we're going to use these teeth as our leading teeth and these two teeth as our trailing teeth. We must ensure that these leading teeth are at 90 degrees to the deck of the clip. And these trailing teeth have to be punched flat to give access to the new board. Clean up the old adhesive as best you can and replace with new adhesive. For further fixing instructions, go to the website or give us a call.